Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, for joining us today for our jobs numbers presser. We have Deputy Commissioner Kevin McKinnon joining us this month, while Commissioner Matt Verilak is in Australia with the governor on our trade mission. Um, so we will go through our normal business on this call, but uh, Deputy Commissioner McKinnon will be leading us. Uh, as a reminder, please keep those cameras muted. If you have any technical difficulties on this call, please email Sam Clayton. Her, she'll put her email in the chat, but it's samantha.clayton at state. Dot MN dot US. Uh, and with that, I will turn it over to Deputy Commissioner McKinnon. Great. Thanks, Devin, and thanks to uh, all of you for being here today with us uh, for a look at our most recent uh, employment data. Let's start with uh, our continued job growth. Minnesota gained 7,000 jobs from September to October, outpacing national growth. Minnesota reached its highest seasonally adjusted number of jobs on record uh, in October at just over 3 million jobs. This is the first time in history that we surpassed the 3 million threshold. October is Minnesota's third straight month of job growth. With gains, uh, with these gains, Minnesota's added uh, jobs nine out of the last 12 months. Over the month, job growth was led uh, by big gains in education and health services, professional and business services, and leisure and hospitality sectors. Angelina will have more details in a minute. There was a pause in labor force growth this month. Uh, essentially, uh, our labor force remained the same, dipping by uh, about 84 people. Uh, the first monthly decline in eight months. Our labor force participation rate held steady uh, for the fourth month at 68.5%. Uh, it is notable that uh, our labor force participation rate is nearly six percentage points higher than the national rate. Uh, which decreased actually this month, uh, one tenth of a percent to 62.7 percent. Our employment uh, rate ticked up slightly in October, uh, one tenth of a percent to 3.2. Uh, the current national rate is 3.9 percent. There continue to be many uh, employment opportunities in Minnesota. As of August uh, 2023, there were over 200,000 job openings in the state, according to our National Job Openings and Labor Turnover Survey data, or JOLTS. Now I'm going to hand things off to our Labor Market Information Office Director, Angelina Wynn, for a deeper dive on the details. Angelina. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner. Most super sectors in Minnesota gained jobs on a seasonally adjusted basis since last month, and they are um, education and health services led with 3,200 jobs, up 0.6%. Professional and business services gained 1,900 jobs, up 0.5%. Leisure and hospitality gained 1,600 jobs, up 0.6%. Government did well, they gained 1,400 jobs, up 0.3%. Construction continues to uh, see some strong growth, gaining 1,200 jobs, up 0.9%. Trade, transportation, and utilities gained 900 jobs, uh, which is 0.2%. Other services gained 200 jobs, um, up 0.2%. Mining and logging gained 100 jobs, up 1.6%. And Three super sectors lost jobs over the month, and they are manufacturing, lost uh, 1,700 jobs, down 0.5%. Financial activities lost 1,600 jobs, down 0.9%. And information lost 200 jobs, down 0.4%. So overall, Minnesota gained 7,000 jobs over the month, uh, seasonally adjusted. And as Kevin mentioned, this is the first time in history that we surpassed the 3 million jobs threshold, uh, both for seasonally adjusted numbers and unadjusted numbers. September, so the previous month, September job growth was revised down by 500 jobs. So the final estimate is we gained um, 7,500 jobs in September rather than the um, 8,000 that we had preliminary um, published. The unemployment rate ticked up, but is still in a good spot at 3.2%. So now on to labor force uh, size and participation. Our labor force size essentially stay flat, um, dipped a little bit by 84 people. And within the labor force, the number of employed people decreased by 2,303, and the number of unemployed increased by 2,219 people. The labor force is still 14,260 people smaller than it was pre-pandemic in February 2020, um, but it's, low, it's been slowly uh, recovering back to that level. 
the labor force participation rate remains stable um, for four months in a row now at 68.5%. Next slide, please. So here we go into over the year employment change by super sector. So over the year, Minnesota gained more than 42,000 jobs, up 1.4%. The private sector gained more than 30,000 jobs, up 1.2%. And overall, our over the year growth is lower than that of the US, um, which grew 1.9% for uh, total non-farm jobs and 1.8% for private sector jobs. Most of these super sectors um, in Minnesota posted annual pos posted positive growth um, over the year and notable big ones are construction. Um, we continue to see um, strong job growth there. Construction gained 6,850 jobs up 4.8% compared to 2.7% nationally. The strongest growth continued to be in heavy and civil engineering construction, which grew 8.1%. Building equipment contractors, which grew 5.6%, and specialty trade con contractors um, grew 5.3%. The other super sector with strong growth is trade, transportation, and utilities. They gained more than 11,000 jobs, up 2.1%, compared to the national rate of 0.4%. And all subsectors uh, here grew except for wholesale trade. Uh, third super sector with strong growth is education and health services. They gained more than 25,000 jobs, which is uh, a 4.5% growth. That's pretty, um, that's a little more, um, but comparable to the national rate of 4.2%. And the, the growth is mostly driven in healthcare and social assistance sector, which grew 5.3%, despite a, de a slight decrease in um, educational services. Four super sectors lost jobs over the year in Minnesota. Um, professional and business services lost um, 8,346 jobs, which is a 2.1% decli decline, while the U.S. grew 1.1%. Um, and all the sectors uh, under the super sector declined, except for accounting, tax preparation, bookkeeping, and payroll, um, architectural, engineering, and related services, and services to buildings and dwellings. The uh, second super sector that lost jobs over the year is financial activities. They were down 3.8%, while the U.S. Uh, grew 0.7%, and losses were consistent um, across this super sector. Manufacturing lost more than 4,000 jobs, down 1.3%. The biggest decline was in animal slaughtering and, and processing, which um, saw a 7.7% decline whereas the U.S. Uh, had zero change uh, for the super sector over the year. And information lost uh, a little more than 1,300 jobs, down 2.9%, and it's a similar um, rate as the U.S. Next slide, please. And you can see that uh, wage growth vary across sectors, but overall um, still positive. So average hourly wages for all private sector workers increased 30 cents. Uh, in Minnesota to $36.51 uh, over the month, and it continues to be about $2 higher than the national rate of $34.17. Um, over the year, Minnesota's average hourly earnings increased $1.17, up 3.3%. And nationally, private sector wages increased $0.29 cents over the month and uh, grew 4% over the year. The CPI inflation index for all urban consumers is 3.2% uh, over the year in October. So overall, wage growth um, is on par with inflation, and that is a good sign. And that is all I have. Uh, Devin, back to you to facilitate any uh, questions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's follow uh, normal procedures here and just put your hand up if you've got a question. We'll, uh, we'll go uh, in order based on... Um, based on hands. Yeah, Dana, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. OK, awesome. Um, wondering if one of you can speak to the significance of getting over that three million job figure. 
So it's it means uh, strong economic growth. Um, we have always we've been hovering around 2000 or 2 million, uh, 2.9 million jobs for a while. Um, and so it just it, our job growth has been steady uh, overall. And it's it means that our economy is is uh, has recovered fully from the pandemic and continues to grow. Thank you. Thanks, Dana. Anybody else? And if there are no other questions, I will turn it to uh, Kevin for uh, for some closing comments here. Well, great. Again, thanks uh, to all of you who uh, participated this morning. Uh, we are really happy to see another month of job growth. Uh, there are many opportunities, obviously, for job seekers right now in Minnesota. We continue to work hard uh, to make sure people know about all the job openings throughout the state uh, and across industries. Uh, we also continue to work very hard with uh, many of our partners uh, on a variety of programs that we have uh, to help people uh, get on career pathways and into in-demand uh, jobs, and so look forward to continuing uh, with that work. Uh, Commissioner Verilek will actually be back uh, um, for the uh, November job numbers, which we will release uh, right before the holiday uh, on December 21st. So thanks again for uh, everybody uh, participating today. Uh, and again, if there's anything to follow up with, uh, you've got uh, contact information in the chat. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.